so today I have a very exciting video for you and Merry Christmas Eve. This is a pre-recorded video so you're not going to see this until after but it is Christmas Eve here and I'm really excited and I got my matching red earrings and bracelet on and I had my magical Christmas bracelet and I lost it. I think it's in the car or something. I was looking everywhere and I couldn't find it, but we had magical times and I will share them with you. Um, but today I wanted to show you a really exciting video. You're probably going to see this in the future, but I wanted to show you how to dress up your handbags. And as most of you guys know, as women, we love our purses. We have a purse that goes with different outfits, but sometimes we wish that, oh, you know, I wish, that, I wish that this purse would just match my outfit perfectly, or I wish I had a purse in this color, or, you know, that this purse is nice, but I wish it had a little something more. You know, it's a great everyday purse, I love it, but I wish it just had a little bit more pizzazz. So, today I wanted to just show you some different ways to give new life to your purses, um, and just kind of show you how I dress mine up. And if you guys do this with your purses as well, whether you've already done it and have been doing it, or if you start doing it after this video, uh, post a photo to my Facebook and share with me or, you know, tweet me and show me what you did or even post a video response and show everyone else how you dress up your handbag because this is a great way to really expand your wardrobe. Um, so I'm going to start off with telling you guys a little story. Uh, I got a handbag for my birthday that I purchased for myself because it was a classic. Everyone was supposed to have it. Everyone loves it. And I got it and I was kind of wondering, Am I really going to love it that much? Like, I look at it and it doesn't scream at me. You know, the item doesn't say, you need me. Um, but it was a very functional handbag because it was the right size. It was also very functional because it's water resistant. Um, because some handbags, if you take them in the rain, they'll get ruined. So this is a handbag that I could take in the rain and not worry about. Um, and it was a classic that I felt like, you know, I kind of needed. And I've had that shape before, and I really wanted it. So I thought, you know what, there is a return policy. I'm going to buy it, see how I like it, and see what happens. And lo and behold, I did fall in love with it. I honestly didn't think I would, but I did, and it's very practical. And my favorite thing to do, since it's kind of a brown texture, my favorite thing to do is dress it up by putting bows on it, by putting jewelry on it, by putting all sorts of fancy little ribbons and ties. And once I learned that, I just started doing it to all my handbags, and I wanted to share with you guys so that you can do the same thing. So why don't we first start off with this handbag? It's basic. It's kind of boring. It's a really cute bag. It's got some hardware here on the front and kind of a silver color. It's a nice nude color. Goes with a lot of different outfits, but you know, it's just a handbag and sometimes you wish it had something more. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually use a statement necklace to dress up your handbag. Now this is one, it must be from like Forever 21 or something. You can find necklaces similar to this almost anywhere, but this was worn on the Steve Harvey show. Um, can't exactly remember where I got it, but I'm sure you guys have something like it. Any of these big, chunky necklaces. And I'm choosing this one because it's big, it's sparkly, it's exciting. And then also, if you look at it, it's kind of got like this blackish silver. And if you guys look here at the hardware of the bag, it's kind of got the same blackish silver. So seeing as this is the front of my handbag, this is what I want to kind of focus on. I'm going to take this necklace, and just as I would put it around my neck, I am putting it around the base of my handbag. And as you guys can see here, it's a little bit long. So I'm just going to take this clasp and, you know, take it in a few notches until I like where it's at. So this is how it looks now, and I'm kind of feeling the look. If you guys want to say super secure, you guys could take a safety pin and pin this kind of together. Because if you guys see, if you turn this bag upside down, it'll fall off just like it'll fall off your neck. So if you wanted to, you could pin something like this right to here with a little safety pin so that it keeps them kind of locked in on each side. Um, and you could do that with a safety pin. You could use fish wire, like fishing hook wire, or just a really small thread in a see-through color um, just to kind of hold it in. Uh, but this is something I do, and since I'm usually not flopping my purse down, I kind of remember to keep it up. But now, your handbag has an entirely new look. It's kind of bedazzled, it's sparkly, you could bump it up a little bit more if you want it to be even more of a collar. Um, you can dip it down lower if you wanted it to hang a bit more. Um, and it just adds a lot of sparkle and pizzazz. Now, if you don't like that look, you can also take one of your favorite scarves. This is one that for me I think is gorgeous. It's got a little, little kitty cat on it, which I just love. Um, and so this is a scarf that you would wear around your neck, or you could tie it as a belt. Um, but we are going to tie this onto our purse. 
And what's great about these scarves is that you can do it multiple ways. You can either tie it as a bow or you can tie it around the handles. And regardless of which one you decide to do, you kind of start off by folding the scarf the exact same way. You take your scarf, kind of lay it out on all fours in a square. You take two ends and put it together so you kind of have a triangle on the middle. Once you have this lying flat on the ground, you literally just want to twist this over itself. Now I'm going to do this on the ground so it's simple, but you guys can see it's that kind of concept that it kind of rolls into a very, very neat line. So now we've got kind of like this neat little line loopy thing. Now that we've got it here, you can tie this just like a normal bow. Now as you can see, since we did kind of roll our bow, it looks a little bit icky, um, a little bit floppy. Um, so really all you want to do is kind of take your fingers through the little loops of the bowl and kind of the bowl, not the bowl, the bow, and <laughs> I can't talk today, and kind of just expand these out a little bit so it has a little bit more shape to it. And so now that we've done that, we have this cute little feminine bow. We can wear our handbag, and since this incorporates a little bit of blues, a little bit of greens, that could pick somewhere else in our outfit so that we're matching, but we're not looking super matchy-matchy. Um, and it really just dresses this up. All right, now starting off with the exact same rolling concept, I'm going to show you guys how to do the, the handles. Um, and this is a little bit trickier because you need it to be a little bit more flat. So don't iron your scarves or anything, and it doesn't even have to be a scarf. It could be a a fabric belt or a piece of fabric that you have lying around that has you know the edges you know neatly fastened but basically what we want to do is get this very flat and we're going to be wrapping this around the handles of our bag so I'm gonna start with one end of my scarf and one end of my handbag I'm just going to literally tie this around and kind of fasten it in just a simple loop here at the bottom you can also kind of tuck this down over the hardware Next, you want to start twining this scarf around your handle. So keeping it flat, I'm just going to twine counterclockwise. Again, you really kind of want to keep this flat so that it doesn't bunch up or anything. Um, and this is usually fun to do with a really, really bright colored scarf. So that way, you know, you have your basic handbag with a really nice contrasting color. Or if you have a plain handbag, you have something with a pattern. Or if you have a patterned handbag, you have something that's basic. Um, but you're just going to keep wrapping this around until you've reached the other side. Once you've gotten to the end, you're going to fasten it the same way you fastened the first side. So by just opening up a little loop here, um, so by just opening up a little loop here and tucking the end through and making sure to pull it taut. Love you. Love you too. You see the kitty cat, the little schnuckle puff? Hi, schnuckles. <gasps> you just dropped the sleeping schnook out of a sound sleep. No, I did not. This is Mama Kitty. Herself on the First. I'm so sorry, my baby girl. Leaf, you are being a bad boy. He just drops the sleeping schnook on me. I my poor you. schnook, I love you too. But not when you drop cats I on me. So now that we've done that, you guys can see we have a completely different look. And if you don't like these on the end, you can always just continue to wrap them and even tuck them in underneath. Um, so depending on if you're looking for a more polished look or a more open look. Um, but that is how you do this. You have a completely new, kind of an edgy look now. Really? That's my other schnook. Did you wake him out of a sound sleep as well? I know, but that doesn't give you rights to destroy things with him. Look at his squirrel tail. Do you guys see this? This is his magical squirrel tail. Ow! Do you guys see this? Mm. Baby! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Cat on my head! Well, he has a magical squirrel tail, whether you guys can see it or not. Um, but yes, this is the second way to dress up your handbag with a scarf. Next, I want to show you on this handbag that I was so concerned I wasn't going to like um, and did kind of end up growing on. Again, we can do necklaces and scarves, but I'm going to show you guys a bracelet. So this is just a very plain wrap bracelet you wrap around your wrist and you hook it in. Um, this works with so many bracelets with clasps, with clips, anything like that. Um, and at first I was really afraid these were going to fall off, but they didn't, so I'm happy. So basically you just take this and it's super self-explanatory. You can loop this around the handle, but I kind of like to loop it through the little hook of my bag. Um, bag, bag, bag. Um, and then you just kind of pull it taut and then you have a little charm here. 
Yes, Mother Goose. Um, so now you guys can see it doesn't look so plain. And they do have bag charms, like purse charms that you can actually buy to put on your purse. But I find that it works just as well. It's not as expensive. And it usually matches something that I already wear. And I get multiple uses out of it. Because a purse charm you can really only wear on a purse. Um, so that is just a very, very plain way to dress this up. But next I want to show you one of my favorite scarves. Um, and kind of color combinations. Because this is such a rich brown, I'm going to dress it up with a bright, bright, bright color like I told you guys. So this, again, is just one of these scarves that you wear around your neck that you do whatever the heck you want to with. And of course you could like roll this the same way, but since this is a thinner scarf, if you can see, some of these other ones are a bit thicker. This one is definitely more thin and sheer and see-through. Um, so this will work a little bit better without you know, going through all this time to tuck it in. So since this is a little bit thinner, I'm just kind of draping it all the way down and looping it through the top here on the top handle. Next, I'm just gonna come to the front and then kind of cross it over in a regular looped fashion um, and then kind of pull it taut. So kind of like you're starting out with a bow. Now again, this is one that if you pull, it's going to come right off the top. So in order to prevent that from happening, I like to take the one here from the bottom and actually loop it over the top, kind of through the top of the handbag, and then back out underneath the bottom. So now there's no way that it'll come off here on the top anymore. And once you have this, you can start working on your bow. So again, I'm just going to cross it over like I did the first time um, and make a little bow out of it. Again, if your bow is looking pretty flat, you want to just pull it to add a little bit more um, oomph to it. Guys, is it really annoying how I say bag? Because everyone says I have a Minnesotan accent because I say bag and bagel and magazine and beggar. But no one from my family, like we've been to Minnesota, but no one from my family has heritage there or no one else. My mom kind of does the same thing, which is probably where I learned it from. But some people complain, they're like, Cassandra, stop it. I'm like, what? I want a bagel. Um, so yeah, does anyone in Minnesota have that problem? Or I guess in Minnesota, it would be a regular thing. Go figure. I love you, but I don't want cats thrown on me. So now as you guys can see, we have this festive little red bow, and again, you can pull it tighter to make it bigger, um, or pull the ends to make it a little bit um, less big. <laughs> um, and again, if you guys don't want to use red, of course, any color, any pattern you want to use is totally fine. Um, another option is that if you want to use something kind of brown, this is a very, very thin one, as you guys can see, as compared to this one. Um, so this will even make a thinner bow. Um, and again, you can definitely put this as a bow here on the front, or if you guys don't like the handles being so plain, again, you can just simply wrap this around to give it a little bit more excitement. And of course, there's always the option of wrapping it around and then tying a bow, which you would need to use a little bit of a longer scarf, um, but it's kind of this basic concept and you just kind of work with it. So you have this handle covered and then you have that little bow on the side. Right here is a necklace from, where did I get this? I got this online, riskglam.com. This is seriously just like your basic necklace. It's got some little brown beads here, some little stones. And this is another one of those cheapo things that you can just use to dress up a handbag and make it look awesome. So right here, you can have this cute little beads right here to kind of give your handbag a little something extra. Or instead of having it go all the way across, you again could fasten it here to the side. Last but not least, to have a nice bright pop of color here for you, but maybe this is a little bit too plain for your outfit. This right here is another one of these scarves, and as you guys can see, this is this huge, beautiful um, kind of depiction, this huge, beautiful mechanic depiction that has this gorgeous purple border. And this purple is a little bit different than the purple in the handbag, but that's what gives it kind of that pizzazz. It's also got some green and stuff like this. So again, I'm just going to start by folding these in and rolling this into kind of like a streamline. So again, I've got this kind of in a little loop. I'm just going to put this to the handles of my bag and tie it into a bow. And there you have it. It is like a whole new handbag. Um, and I just thought of this right now, but you know these hairpins or these brooches that you like put on your shirt or in your hair? I, I just thought of this and I have never tried it, so I don't know really how it works, but what if you like even pinned that into the, like the middle of your bow? Wouldn't that be cute? I don't know, I think that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, next, um, I just wanna show you something really, really fun for summer. I can't be the only one who loves summer, so hands up if you love summer. I love winter to death. 
but when I'm in the summer I like hope it's winter and when it's like the winter I'm like please be summer um so you guys know this is one of my favorite summer necklaces this just has like some little fishies and then some little starfish and some little pearls magical under the sea fishies um, and I just love the color combo because it's such a bright blue. And as you guys can see, this is the same concept. And all of a sudden, your bag is now a beach bag or a summer bag or I don't know. I just love it. And I love, 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 love this color combination. Um, since this is such a beautiful blue, I mean, it literally looks good on any color. I just, I love this. Basically how I dress up my handbags, but something else I wanted to show you. Should we do like a purse organization video? Because I think that may be fun. This kind of dresses it up, but kind of doesn't. This is one of those purse hooks. This one I actually bought at a hotel. This one is from Artistic Artistic Design. Wow, I can't spell. I can't talk. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, I personally like mine. And it, oh, I guess it comes with a little, little softy bag thing. Um, it is basically a little hook like this. And if I am correct, you just pull on it and it kind of makes like this little loop. Pull it out, twist it down, and it kind of makes this hook. Um, and now what you can do is actually use this. You put this like on a table. You know how if you're like sitting in a restaurant and you have your handbag on your chair, you know, it can get stolen. Someone can put their hand inside there. You know, you don't want to put it on the floor sometimes because you don't want to get the bottom dirty. This literally hooks onto your handles, just kind of like you would hold it, and it goes on top of a table. So it's kind of dressing a handbag up, not really, but it is practical and I thought I would share with you. So this one is my favorite just because it has this little red diamond and I actually use these in combination because I think it looks so pretty. But it's kind of like dressing your handbag up while it's on the table. Um, and it's very, very practical. And then you can like dig in for your phone or, you know, for your credit cards or cash when the check comes without like having to go all the way down to the floor and pick up your bag or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that is just kind of how I dress up my handbags. If you guys dress up your handbags, be sure to tell me how um, or post a photo or something like that or a video response because I love watching them and they make me so happy. And it's like I get to talk to you even though we're not face to face it's like we're face to face which is just so cool um anyways tell me if you guys want a purse organization video tell me what you like what you guys want to see um and of course show me if you use any of these tips or tricks and show me if you have your own so I love you guys Merry Christmas Eve even though you're gonna probably see this next year so hey guys I'll see you next year ah because I'm like in the now which would be the past for you, and you guys are in the future if you're going to see this in the future. So I will see you next year if I post this next year, and if I don't, then I'm just going to sound really weird, which I already probably sound really weird, but I love you guys. I really hope you enjoy this video, and I can't wait to talk to you all soon. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.